Welcome to the project demonstration of forest fire detection system along with blink notification and also here we are going to get the location with the help of GPS. So the whole system run by our Arduino you know and here the main input sensors are like LM35 to detect the temperature and as well as fire and smoke sensor to detect the smoke whenever before the fire is occurring we will get the smoke that will be identified by this uh, smoke sensor and also location from this GPS. So we will get latitude and longitude values. These four values will be sent to the Blink application to the IoT with the help of this ESP8266 module. And here we have interfaced the LM35 sensor at A0 and the smoke sensor at 10th pin and the GPS at 8th pin and ESP8266 module at 0 and 1 to this Arduino Uno board. And this is the breadboard so to distribute the 5 volts power supply throughout this input output module so, so parallelly we are providing the 5 volts power supply from this 7805 regulator we place the heat sink because of whenever the high power consumption occurred with help, uh, by this ESP module as well as smoke sensor then this may get heat up so in order to protect that we place the heat sink and it will take the input from this battery of 12 volts and uh, 12 volts 1 amp the output from this 7805 regulator is 5 volts constant power supply so throughout this board we are going to distributing that to the input and output modules and here this is a rechargeable battery so just with the help of this transformer so so we need to provide the 230 volts input to this socket cable and once we provided that there will be a light indication here right so now the battery is getting charging so it will take 8 hours maximum to be fully charged and after that you can disconnect this charger right so now i am disconnecting that this is setup is only for two charger battery so transformer will take to the devils input and provide us the 12 volts ac output and the next this is a charging circuit which will provide us the output of 12 volts dc and then the dc will be given to the input to this battery so next before switching on this switch we need to enable the hotspot so enable the hotspot with the name of ssid so change your hotspot name in your phone so the SSID should be project PRO JECT 4940 without any space and without any capital letter. And next, so on the password of 129, so 1234567189. After enabling the hotspot and data, hotspot and data both should be enabled. And after that, so just uh, now I'm enabling the hotspot in my phone. So from which I'm taking the video. Right. So I enable the hotspot now and then switch on the kit so this is the main on off switch so once we switch on the sketch there will be a light indication here and main thing is you should demonstrate this project under the sky view then only the gps will get the signal so there will be a light indication on the gps so this light will get switched on whenever it get the satellite signal right you can see it's blinking now so previously we have seen that right so this is the location so fire is ejected so and also we are getting the temperature continuously streaming into this and whenever we increase the temperature so then so we got the notification so we should enable the notification also when we open the blink application we will ask for to enable the gps as well as the notification so alerts right so this is what where the blue light is going to be the blue blue point is of exact my location with the help of gps which you received and this is the fire detection which we get this kit location and coming to the smoke So when we place the smoke here there will be a light on here we can see that so the light same light will be on in our blink application also we will get the smoke alert indication on this so here we get the fire alert indication as well as smoke alert indication along with the location continuous streaming the only main thing is we should remember is we should demonstrate this project under the sky view for the gps location and also like a wi-fi hotspot along with data should be on and also log into the blink application with the given credentials you can continuously streaming the data into that and after that don't forget to switch off this right thank you